Hey, it's Rear Link here, and today I'm going to show you exactly what WebXR is and the experiences available to the Oculus Quest 2. So what is a WebXR experience? Well, WebXR is basically like the Flash games of VR. If you guys don't know what Flash games is, back in the day, you were able to go on your computer and look up little games you can actually play on your computer, like during class or something. Um, they had websites like Pup Games, um, DreamMath.com, um, game like websites like that. They may still have these websites. Um, I'm not sure if they work. I haven't really played them in a long time since I'm a grown man now, and I don't really need to go on Flash Games. They were like the ultimate uh, free way to play fun games in class with um, other people on the computer. So WebXR is basically the VR version of that. Uh, they're games or uh, apps that are not that don't really have to be downloaded to the actual Oculus Quest or VR um, module that you're using. You can actually just go on the web, look it up, and utilize these games or apps. So what I've noticed in the VR community is that not a lot of people actually know about these wonderful games or apps. Uh, so I just want to bring a little bit of light to them because they are still a part of the VR experience. They might not be highlighted a lot, but they are still a part of it. And I think a lot of people should know because uh, most of the time, everyone just goes straight to the Oculus store and don't really pay attention to the things that are right on the actual Oculus web browser. So yeah, here we go. Let's jump in. First of all, I would like to say I found most of these games on xrapp.store and on the Oculus Quest browser. The first game I would like to cover is called Moonrider, which is a free and open source VR music visualization website. Moonrider is a lot like Beat Saber, but it is open source. So what that means is that you can actually have a lot of different music from various artists on this website. There's artists like Drake, Lil Uzi, like pretty much any popular artist in history uh, could basically be on this website. What I really like about this game is that it has a bunch of different modes. There's a classic mode where it's just like Beat Saber sticks, and then there's the ride mode where you're not really doing anything, you're just enjoying the visuals and the music and then there's the punching mode where you're just punching the notes. One thing I do have to say about this game is that it doesn't feel as satisfying as Beat Saber. Like when I hit all the notes, it feels really good in Beat Saber, but in this game, I don't know, like hitting this doesn't feel as satisfying. Um, but with that being said, this game is pretty good from what it is. It is a free game and you're getting a lot more uh, different types of music in this game. Uh, so it is really cool and there are a lot of different modes. So I guess it, it is kind of worth it at the same time, but I do wish it can just feel a little bit more satisfying. And you can probably change that uh, in the settings because this game also does have a lot of settings as well. Uh, but other than that, this is a pretty solid game and it is free for anyone. And I do believe you can uh, add uh, music if you want to uh, place it on this platform. So the next WebXR game I would like to talk about is Construct Chess. Now there are other uh, VR chess games you can probably find. Um, for example, I know there is one, it's probably the same one on the Oculus Quest uh, browser, uh, the same place where you can find all the other WebXR games. I believe they do have a chess game on there as well. Uh, I just so happened to find this on the website that I mentioned previously. Um, and this game is just like any other chess game uh, in real life. Uh, you can move the pieces with your hands. But what I do like is that you can actually move the board around so you can see it from many directions as well. And you can move it up or down or left and right. Just basically any way that you see comfortable uh, making a decision. But that is a really good aspect of this chess game. That's what makes chess perfect uh, for VR as well. This game is also great for playing other people online. 
you just put in your um, friend's ID and then bam, you're able to play them online. Super simple. Next WebXR app I would like to talk about is Silkbrush. Silkbrush is a port of TiltBrush to WebXR uh, with the aim of being as close in functionality to the original as possible. So I want to start off by saying I have never downloaded TiltBrush before or used it. And once I tried Silkbrush, I was like, wow, this, this is amazing. I see why a lot of people actually talk about uh, this app and it got me wanting to actually download uh, Tilt Brush. Uh, so I would suggest that if you're like skeptical about uh, Tilt Brush, just try Silk Brush out, see if you like it, see what it has to offer, and that can get you in the doorstep to actually trying or getting uh, Tilt Brush. And I'm not a person who's exactly uh, very uh, artful or artistic or anything like that, uh, but I just thought this was really cool. The things you can do in this uh, it's just amazing and the things you can make is also amazing as well Also, if you're worried about trying it out and then happen to make like an amazing creation And you want to save it you can definitely do that you can save it in your onboard storage And I do believe you can also transfer it over to the actual the actual uh, tilt brush So that is also an amazing feature that this is added on So yeah, definitely try this app out I liked it a lot and I think I'm going to use it more in my free time just to like vibe and relax because it is also uh, very relaxing as well. So the next web XR game I want to showcase is Barista Express. This game is like a simulation uh, time management type game. You're basically like a barista just making coffee for people and you have to manage your time and the people that are coming in, you just can't make them wait too long. You guys basically know like that type of game, just a time management uh, simulation type game. So I do have one warning for this game and that is to read the directions. The first time I hopped in this game, I was like, man, this game looks super easy. I can do this. And then I was in and then I was like rushing. I did not know what to do. Like there were so many like customers coming in and I was like, wait, what do I do next? Why can't I make some more coffee? So yeah, I would say just definitely read or just look at the directions in the beginning and it's really simple. But if you go in not knowing what to do, you're going to be kind of stuck. So I would also recommend this game for people who are just starting out on VR and for kids as well. This game is actually really fun, but it's also easy to pick up as well. So this next web XR experience is called Trajectile Command. It's an arcade style game in which you defend your cities from waves of enemy bombers and missiles by instructing your own missile launchers where to fire. Trajectile Command is one of those vintage arcade games that transfers really well into VR. Um, in this game, you get to move around um, to really look at your whole area, kind of like the chess game. Um, and it starts off really easy, but then it gets really intense and you're kind of like What do I do? What do I do next kind of feeling? Um, it's a really fun game. It might not look like it um, from the look of it, but once you start playing it, it's really fun. Last but not least, WebXR experience is called Plocko. Uh It's a VR block puzzle game that is really challenging and highly addictive, but I really love this game, and you're gonna see why. So Plockle is a very simple game. It's just a puzzle game. But with that being said, this puzzle game makes you think a lot. Um, it's my first time actually playing one of these types of puzzle games. Um, even if it is in VR, um, it's still one of my first time playing these type of puzzle games. So it was a very new experience for me, and I was, very happy uh, with like the end benefit like it got me actually thinking of how to put a puzzle together I know it kind of sounds like um, one of those games that little kids do where they like put shapes in the right shape hole if that makes sense but it's it's completely different what you're doing is you're trying to make a box or whatever shape it is with different shapes um, if that makes sense and this game also does provide uh, hand tracking as well. So you really get the feel of how this game 
would work in real life. One, because of hand tracking, and two, because you can actually move the shape that you're building around so you can see it from different viewpoints. And this comes in very handy um, because you are trying to put different shapes into a shape to make another shape. So like, I, I just really love this game and I definitely think you all should check it out. Um, it gets you thinking a lot. Like I've spent maybe like two hours in this game and that's all my Oculus Quest can basically take is just two hours. Um, and it was worth it. Just playing this game is amazing. So you guys should definitely check it out and get the feel for this. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. If you have any questions or just want to talk, put it in the comments below. Uh, I definitely answer pretty much all the questions that are in the comments section. So feel free to drop some below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.